Hi everyone, it's Shanalia from Nutrifundi. So the last few weeks I've had a lot of questions on how to read food labels. So I have decided today to do a practical explanation of what you guys can do when you're in the shops and when you want to buy something and you're not sure which one is the better option. So firstly, it's very important to make sure that you compare apples with apples. So please don't go and compare a chocolate with a piece of steak. It is not the same thing. Please don't compare it. You can compare, for instance, um, a packet of rice cakes and a packet of chips. So today I'm going to compare the two and I'm going to show you how it works. Uh, just remember, I'm not saying one of these brands are better than the other one. I'm just saying how to read a food label. So firstly, uh, these two, uh, both these foods would be a carbohydrate and you would probably eat it as a snack and you would probably eat the whole packet. So that is why I'm saying you must compare apples with apples. Then you'll see if you turn it around at the back part, you will see there is a table and there is some ingredients. So today we're going to specifically look at the table. So when we look at the table, you see it says nutrients and then it says another column, it says per 100 gram and then per serving. So very important to make sure what is a serving. So for instance, this packet is a 36 grams uh, packet and it also says at the back that a serving is 36 grams. So this means a whole packet is a serving. The same with this one. This packet is 30 grams and it says per serving 30 grams. So why that is important is sometimes you would find a packet of sweets or a packet of chips and it would say per serving that is maybe 25 grams. But when you look at the packet, the packet is 75 grams. And if you eat the whole packet, then you actually have to uh, multiply the table times three because you are eating three of the servings. Okay. Also remember, it doesn't mean that the serving listed at the back of the packet is um, the recommended serving. It is just the predicted serving of what people pretty much are eating. Okay. So then if we look and we're going to compare the servings with each other, you can also compare the 100 grams with each other, but because we know we are going to eat the whole packet, I would rather just compare the serving with the serving. So if we look at the first one, the this packet, you'll see the calories um, of the kilojoules, let's work with kilojoules, per packet is 793, and then the kilojoules in this one is 516. So this one has got a little bit less uh, calories, energy, um, that we need to look at if we want to lose weight. Okay. Then the protein in this one is 2.7 and the protein in this one is 2.2. So basically the same thing and also not something that I would really look at if you look at a, a packet of chips like this. Um, I have compared some lentil chips and uh, chickpea chips. Then you'll see it is quite significantly higher in protein but in this example it doesn't really matter then interesting if we look at this one you'll see it says 17 grams of carbohydrates of which sugar 0.3 and this one the carbohydrate is 21.8 and the sugar is 2.3 grams so you would then think okay Maybe this one is the better option than this one. But remember, we are not going to stop there. We also still have to look at the fat. So the fat content for this packet is 12.6 grams, of which saturated fat, which is the not so healthy fat, is 4.9. Okay, This packet, the total fat is 2.7 grams. Okay, It's quite a big difference from 12 grams to 2.7 and then the saturated fat only 0.5 so if I had to choose between the two I would choose this one 
It's up to you. This is the facts. Uh, but that is how you read labels. So a lot of people would say, okay, but now the carbohydrates are higher in this one, which is true. But remember, it's only slightly higher, like four grams more. Um, so four grams out of 21 grams isn't that big a difference. And all, But remember, the fat does play quite a big role and remember the fat is very it's a very energy dense nutrient so the more fat something contains obviously the higher it will be in um, calories and also the saturated fat is not so good for for our hearts and for cholesterol and those things so that is me for today and how you read food labels Please tell me in the comment section if you think it was helpful and if there's anything else or any other labels that you want me to interpret for you. Thank you and remember to follow my uh, YouTube link for more sessions like this as well as my Facebook page. Have a great day. Bye.